Um, we got we got a little opening here. So a woman asks her husband, a programmer, to go shopping. The wife says, "Dear, please go to the grocery store to buy some bread. This one. Also, if they have eggs, buy six. Husband, okay. Half an hour later, the husband comes back, brings brings six loaves of bread. His wife flabbergasted. <laughs> wife, dear, why on earth did you buy six loaves of bread? They had eggs. <laughs> He's correct. He's right. absolutely correct. <laughs> <right. laughs> also, if they have eggs, buy now, six. Explaining that to her would be almost impossible. <laughs> <laughs> like I had my dad for dinner. Good. That's all right. Oh. <laughs> so, oh boy. on to oh, some interesting boy. things. So. Yep. We're talking fritzing, China, and the M MP25 uh, MP calculator. So, some of you have uh, followed Chris Chung's development of the MP25 and on, uh, on the two bullet boards. And uh, so I thought this was a fascinating calculator. Chris was put them together in some kits and uh, assembled units, and then all of a sudden he said, well, I can't do this anymore. So he had a relative who's close relative who's seriously ill and I said hey would you mind he says yeah it's it's on github it's an open source I said go ahead you know take take off with it and so I said that's ah, kind of cool like I want to go and see what see what see what can be done with this so so the MP25 is developed by Chris uh, uses Eric Smith's non frail code who's that I don't know I think he's back here somewhere Chris developed a small PC board calculator and emulates the 21, the, the 25, and the 30, HP 33. Um, placed it on GitHub, so you, anybody can go look at it. If you just search GitHub, Chris Chung, MP25, you'll, you'll come up with his project. Um, seems like there's still a moderate amount of interest, and it's kind of fun, even though I don't like to do soldering on Sunday nights for 30 or, 20 or 30 PC boards. So. Um, so anyhow, I said, okay, I'll, in February I decided, let's, let's go ahead and, and try to do this. So, so discussions is talking about Fritzing, which is a, uh, it's a German program. It's an open source uh, PC board layout program. Uh, it's done by a university in Germany, and they made it for uh, people to do uh, all sorts of PC board manufacturing. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, this, was a, uh, this was a caution in case uh, I drug out my soldering iron, which I still might do later if anybody's interested. But uh, yes. you know, don't get it close to <coughs> small animals or people you like. So, um, Fritzing's open source, as I said, open source <coughs> hardware initiative. Makes electronics accessible and creative for anyone. They have a software tool community website. And so there's a, a link here that you can go to. But we're going to try to play. It looks like it's going to play. Yeah. It supports designers, artists, and hackers to develop electronic projects. Fitting helps you to learn more about electronic circuits, allows you to document your projects, and even lets you prepare them for production. Once you've built a circuit on a breadboard, you can start transferring it to Fitting. Fitting has three different project views. The breadboard view is where virtual electronic parts can be wired and placed on a virtual breadboard. And this environment parts that do not Linux, exist in Fritzing Spark uh, Mac OS or Windows can so be created can using the parts editor. Editor. Oh, wow. The schematic view is where a formal representation of the circuit can be viewed and edited. Changes made in one view instantly affect all other views. It's really the PCB simple. View allows and you it's to free. place parts on a printed circuit board. Oh. An auto router, auto routing, the traces, oh. and the final PCB layer can be exported to the necessary <laughs> production forms. Yeah, Publishing and sharing your projects with the Fritzing community at oh. fritzing.org can be achieved with just one click. The Fritzing Project Gallery contains a collection of projects for beginners as well as for advanced users. Additionally, the Fritzing website offers learning material and tutorials, a user forum, and the option to take part in the development of Fritzing. Fritzing is available as a free download for Mac, PC, and Linux. Fritzing is being developed by researchers in the Interaction Design Lab at the University of Applied Sciences in Potsdam, Germany. Oh. 
so it's got a little sport. It's uh, people around the world use it. It's a pretty cool little program. <coughs> this is actually the uh, the uh, Gerber files for the MB25, and so I've got some things to pass around. And so instead of showing uh, you know the soldering demonstration, we're going to just show some progressive building. Um, I'm going to start with a with the PC board. Did that produce a uh, industry standard file type that you can go to a PC board house? It does. It does. Yeah, it, 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 uh, it will produce Gerber files that will be accepted by anybody. So we're going to talk about the next piece of this. Oh, where do you want to start this? So, so that's the, just the bare PC board. And so uh, he already had the Gerber files generated, but I loaded fritzing on there anyhow and so I could look at it and play around with it and move things around. So it's pretty neat, neat and simple program. The next step is, you know, how do you source these products? How do you source the PC boards and the components and so forth? So, everything I get, virtually everything, is from China. We'll talk about the displays in a little bit, but uh, you know, the great thing is uh, there's a there's a place in China uh, that actually uh, Chris pointed me to. So, Electro is a great PC board manufacturer. So, you can get uh, ten boards starting at ten dollars. That's that's four ten boards. Now those are the smallest ones. I think mine cost uh, around a buck fifty a piece. <coughs> Double sided, six screen, uh, you know, labeling everything. Two sided, plated through holes. Uh, very nice and and routed <laughs> routed out. You know, in this custom routing, they don't charge you extra for the custom extra for the custom routing. Oh. Interestingly enough, I ordered ten boards. And since it panelizes out to 12, they just sent me the extra two for free. Fascinating thing <laughs> is, you know, I, I sent the uh, Gerber files on a Sunday, and I said, yeah, I want these kind of in a hurry. So I paid for DHL, which was $19, even though my order was only about $15. <laughs> DHL was knocking on my door Saturday, six days later. So, uh, hmm. And you had the board. And I had the board. I had 12. So it was beautiful, and I've ordered, since then I've ordered three more sets of boards from them, and I think they only penalize up to 11 In last time. Yeah. down if you order 100 boards? Or? It does. Yeah, they have Perfect. price breaks. Oh, if you just go on the uh, Electro website, and there's actually, this is a hot spot in your How presentation. Many, is this many layers? On the, on the yes. Yeah. 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 Any idea where in China they are? Uh, probably Shenzhen. I think in the Shenzhen area. So, uh, so it's Shenzhen or Suzhou? Is it Suzhou? I'm not it's one of the uh, one of those two S's. So, um, yeah, you can. They'll, they'll allow you to walk in right well, into their factory. If, so you're over there. In a month, so. You're over there, Gene. So they'll, they'll allow you to walk in and pick it up. So Place your orders. Cost. I'll bring them back. So if you, um, <laughs> but I won't be as fast as DHL. So it's great for just prototyping. I mean. You can order ten boards. But that's where she came. I mean, really? for, for virtually that. And if you uh, if you go to the uh, standard China shipping and just say, well, I just just ship it whenever you can get it, it to me. Weeks. It's standard twenty days, and it's six bucks, and six bucks in shipping. And so twenty days later, they come over on the boat and they get through your postal oh, system and go and got boards without a whole lot of shipping. So the neat thing is also other components, right? There are other things on here, switches. There. Are, so, oh, by the way, PayPal is basically all they accept that you guys use PayPal, so very easy and very simple. So, what else can you order? Well, you can order everything, virtually, almost everything from China. And it's really, real easy. Usually it's on eBay. I mean, you can find these switches on eBay. You can find uh, resistors. You can find uh, more switches. The battery holder, the capacitors, I mean, they're all on eBay. The great thing is, usually you order, like, I'll order 100 of these. They'll come over free shipping, no shipping at all. So and, small, and they, right. right? They put them in a uh, just a small pack from from China. Yeah. They don't charge you. Yeah, and I, I ordered some fuses the same way, and I was astounded, yeah. just astounded. Yeah. And so you just pay the cost, no tax, no shipping, and they show up on your door. It just blew me away. Exactly the yeah. same. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah, they have a, and I don't know how the post office does it. They must be losing the U.S. post office. Been, must be, lose a ton of money on that. But, uh, you know, but uh, anyhow, easy to do. PayPal universally accepted. Um, there's a lot of different, I mean, tons of vendors of these electronic components. So, you know, these are uh, like two cents a piece. So, yeah. You know, um, well, hey, I got, you know, why not? I'm, I'm not going to say you, but somebody 
you should just say, hey, let's put together a kit and let them, and let all the DIYers send you 20, 30 bucks or whatever it is and send us the parts and right. let us do it. Let me ask you this. Um, can you explain the lanyard slot and, and, and the reason it's made the way it is? Oh, <laughs> I think Chris, Chris originally designed, designed this to be on a lanyard, yeah. and so he designed it so he could carry it around like this, and, and we could have it at a conference or a... And read it. Okay, what's, the, what's the slot there? For a mic? No, oh, this... Oh, just a... Just a uh, I mean, just artwork. Excellent what he did. Just, <laughs> A design like this. Now, this and then there's also a slot over here. I'm not quite sure why you got that slot. Maybe it's to fit into a case. Into a case. See, this should be big enough to have four holes, right. and then you get a, a, a case for it. You see that? Yeah. Or you could do a 3D modeling machine on a snap and just a case of some kind. I've got kits, by the way, too. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> I spoke too soon. Now the price just went up. Now. <laughs> I sell them the same price Chris did. It's thirty dollars for assembled and forty or forty for assembled and thirty. Okay. Oh, you said thirty. You said uh, thirty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Erase that part. <laughs> so what happens? Somebody calls up says I want over a thousand of these. That would be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> then, then I would have to go to China and probably have actually Electro does assembly as well. Oh, really? So I'd probably contract with them to do assembly and we would uh, be in business. How long the battery left? I haven't done any current. You know, I don't know. I have not done the current measurement either. So it could be, you know, there are 2032s. By the way, 2032s are really cheap from China. You can order these. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, they're, yeah, they're really cheap. 10, 15 online. cents a piece. Because they're yeah. generally yeah. Yeah. Go to the really store. Right. So, now, now, occasionally you'll find one that's not good, that's, and you just have to toss it. So Texas Instruments, uh, their applications people actually did a study of that and they found that off-brand 2032s, I'm not talking about ones that are completely bad, which right. we get some of, but the, the, even the ones that are good are typically only about half the capacity of the name brand. Okay. Yeah, that's that's yep. right. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so for 15 cents, so so three months of life instead of six so, months of well, I was going to say, if you, if you priced a 2032 lately, you can buy a lot of these pretty cheap you well, before you ever get to the price of what you're paying in the U.S. So yeah. if, if you want, if you want to Brock, buy a good quality brand of 2032s, Digikey has the Panasonic ones, and they're pretty cheap. They're okay. not as cheap as right. you know, no-name Chinese, but right. for a name brand, they're cheap. Yeah. You, you, but if you order them, you have to Why have. Why do you ship a switch? Uh, What's that? But if, you, but if you order. Uh, 2032s from DigiKey, presumably from any other supplier, but I know DigiKey, you have to tell them to send them by UPS or FedEx. Postal service will not touch them. Yeah. 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 The DigiKey ordering system doesn't know that, so I got a call from them after I placed the order saying, we can't do that. And I'm selecting it for was that a special report? Or that you know, yeah. 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 So you throw that in? Yeah. That is really neat. I was, over, I was blown away when you said that. Yeah. So we're going to do a live demonstration. But instead of a live demonstration, let's do a recorded demonstration. So. Cipher. Yeah, it's much safer. So we can kind of talk through this. So this is just basically a, a quick assembly, and the nice thing is, I speeded up the parts that are a little, little, uh, little long. In. So, so basically, you just start out with a PC board. I've, I've gone ahead and started on the. Did you hear in the way too? I did. I, you know, I try to edit out that part. You know. So. How about the lights again? How much coffee have you had when you did this? You know, lots of coffee, lots and lots of coffee. Yeah, try scotch next. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, those are uh, chips, right? They are. They are. And you know uh, what? You need they to are, learn about and, that. And I, I've been in the semiconductor industry for 30 years, and you know what? These are very robust chips. They're, 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 <laughs> normally, I would have a wrist strap on, and normally I'd be grounded, but so these are not sparky, very robust. So just if you buy this in a kit form, it does have the it does have pinned ones marked, and it has the... Uh, it also has the cut out on the end. Yeah. Of the well, so why do we see no traces on this circuit board? It's ah, because because you have a uh, you have a solder mask over the top of it, so it's 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 and that's one of the services, that you, that, and it makes it great for soldering. So you you saw I just used um, some flux 
I don't have the dropper that Ken has, but I've got a flux pen, and it works great. And I can't overemphasize the use of flux. Don't solder without using flux. See, I'm not wrong, am yes. I? No. <laughs> flux is your friend. No, you will, you will, you will be in. Do you use pain without flux? Do you use a, a flux core solder or I do. separate I flux? I do use a flux. No, it's flux. So you can see, you can see the residue, the flux residue, and it is acidic. And so you want to make sure oh, you get this off. Jeff, Jeff tends to use alcohol. I use a, a flux cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get it. So flux degreaser, plastic safe. So I just bought this from one of the guys that uh, I think at the Dayton Ham Fest. He had a bunch of this. So um, and just as a spray bottle, a pressurized spray bottle has a little thin uh, tube coming out of it. And uh, I spray it on and just use a toothbrush and use a magnifying. Uh, head set to make sure I get all of it off. You know, I just want to make sure you get all all of it removed because it will it will tend to corrode. And, and now, when you build these, say you got to build oh. ten or twelve. Mm -hmm. um, do you, you build board by board, or do you line up your twelve boards and put in all of this chip and all of that? I do. Chip and all that I do. Chip? I usually you sequence. Henry right. Ford. Right. Right. So I try to build all of the all the uh, ICs line. once, right. and then. And I'm really picky about the displays. I mean, that's the first thing you're going to notice. If the display doesn't line up, you know, and that probably takes me the longest of anything on the whole board, <coughs> except for the 32 switches and the 64 solder connections I've got to make. And uh, lining up the boards. And the thing that you have to notice on here is when you're building, the display comes down and let, the way it's designed, it lays over the top of this set of pins. So you have to trim those pins off pretty close to make sure you get your displays. I angle them a little bit when I build it. So you'll see me cutting off the ends of the displays because you've got to cut them because they'll run into the IC on the other side. Uh, so you've got to trim one side, and if I, I think I caught it, you'll have, you'll find the side that's got the dot, the pin one dot on it. Well, that's the side you trim. So there you go. There's the pin one dot. You take some. Uh, you can't see my diagonals in there, but I'm trimming it about halfway, and then. Uh, and then that goes in the front part of the forward part of the PC board, the lower part, and then you just kind of angle it up and do a lot of aligning. Yeah. So you can see one side's cut, one side isn't. Right. Is this video on the, the USB track? I don't think it is, but we can try to get it out to everybody. You can just send me an email or put it on YouTube. I, I can put it on YouTube. Perfect. There. there we go. He cuts on the bottom. Put it on my I think it'll help promote the product too, actually. Yep. You don't want to promote it too much, right? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's complaining that she has no weekends left, right? <laughs> Your wife and mine should get together. They do seem to be in Shenzhen. Okay. In uh, Shenzhen. I, I know where they are. I look. Okay. Oh, Electro. Yeah. So the interesting, interesting thing about these displays. These are old new stock. They are HP displays. These little red, yeah. red. There's oh, three really? of them. There's oh, three really? of them on there. So they're lower current. Then. Yep. The last time these were produced in Malaysia by HP was 1991. <laughs> you cannot find these displays anywhere. Spark Spark Fund bought over 4,000 of them, and they're now down to 1,100. And I placed another order for 102, so they're now down to probably under 1,000. Once they're gone, they're gone. You know. Oh so, really? Yep. So the board would have to be laid out with new displays once they're done. I've got, you probably make another 30 or 40 boards. And then, so you, so anybody buying them, you're getting collector's items. <laughs> but these are very, very, if you've seen them, they're very nice displays. You know, they're oh, nice. Yeah, oh, the whole, whole right. design is yeah. excellent. Yeah. How much are the displays, if you mind me asking? They are, uh, it's a set of four, right? Yep, uh, right. Three. Four. Well, well, they're four, four, they're four, 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 but there's three sets three of four. Each one, yeah. Yep. So as you can see, you've got a solder from the top side. Once you get the back side of this soldered, these pins are underneath the ICs on the back side. So you've got to go from the front side and actually apply the soldering iron and apply it. Why well, yeah. can't you put those yeah. in first and solder from the back side? You, you can, but then you've got the opposite problem with the ICs. Oh, so yeah. you, you've got to do either one or the other. So yeah. I tend to like the ICs in place first, and that way I can really angle these and kind of tilt these up a little bit. And get get a nice little angle. Why don't you get a little nylon tie and slide it in there, and then you have a very yep. consistent uh, spacing. Yep. 
and, and really I try to make sure the top row of these are very, the top of these are all consistent. As well. yep. so, so you're saying put a spacer underneath the back end? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Good. Yep. So that's a quick assembly. Um, the nice thing is you can assemble you can assemble all of this and the resistors and caps on the back side or you can put them on the front side. I know Chris did front side, I prefer back. You put the switch in and then actually you can just put just tack one of the one of the numerical keys on there, slap a battery in, you can start you can start just seeing if it everything lights up, all the displays are okay. I've never had a display go out on me, I've never had a display a segment go bad. So true to HP, very high quality stuff. Yeah. Very good stuff. So. And, uh, and uh, I, I, I like that because now I bet you the current's much less than I would have thought it'd be. They, they're very high efficient displays. Yeah, exactly. yep. Yep, yep, yep. I think you're right. It does look a little cleaner with the caps on the back. Yours looks cleaner than mine. Huh? You got any spare caps? I do. I'll buy one. All right. You do. So just to wrap up, uh, let's see. Yeah. So that was the live demonstration, not live. Um, the goal was just to share fritzing. I think that was interesting. Hopefully that was interesting to some people who does prototyping. Um, show the parts in China. Shouldn't be confusing, daunting, or uh, you know, difficult to order. Very easy to order uh, parts from China. And most of them, I don't order huge quantities, so I don't have a way to get burned really if there's a PayPal <laughs> issue. So I try to order small increments. Um, I've never had a problem getting parts from China. Doesn't mean you won't. but. There's always some uh, bad apples in the bunch somewhere. Yep. Uh, quick tutorial just on assembling the Pick 25. Uh, my credits and acknowledgments, Eric Smith, you know, his excellent work on non -parail. Chris Chung, you know, did all the software. And by the way, all of his uh, C, C code, uh, along with uh, Eric's software and the ROM codes are on his GitHub address, so uh, you can get it there. And then, of course, the Museum of HP calculators and all the information that's yeah. been through the... Uh, are those, those are ROMs? The code is in ROM? It's the ROM code. He's integrated the, the ROM code from the 21, the 25, oh, right. and the 32. Right. I mean, what, what chip is it on? It's it's built into the uh, the processor, so it's in, it's inside the processor. It's so big, when you it's order a, the processors, they, they put that code in there? It's not a ROM chip. No, 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 no. It's I'm sorry. Flash. It's in flash memory. It's part of the oh, flash. It's part how's of the it get flash? flash? Who flashes it? I do. Oh, I you, okay. yeah. you didn't show you us that. No. <laughs> so that's, you're right. That's one of the pieces I did not show. So. I mentioned there's different ROMs in there, too. That's just right. There's a 21. So this is on a TI-MSP 430. I have trouble saying that TI part. You know, Thanks, really Bill. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this just uses a, uh, it's one of the TI's inexpensive uh, development boards. So easy you know TI has a flashing program you know I just put the MSP 430 in there and uh, first provide the hex code I haven't been able to compile it yet so I'm still working on compiling it myself but so I've got the hex code for it just flash it into the MSP 430 solder it in and away we go it's, it's, it looks great how does the speed compare against the it's very comparable uh, actually there's a slow mode and a fast mode so the slow mode emulates the 25 and you get the flashing display, you know, while it's executing the program. So you'll see it. And actually, uh, I think there's the YouTube video. If you go on to uh, YouTube and look, Chris has done some comparisons and side by sides with the actual HP25 and with the MP25. So <coughs> you'll see the execution is very, very good. Between them. Yes. Okay. There's a little. I have the first batch that he made. Uh huh. Uh, there's the, is there a uh, some modifications since the first batch to the one you have? No, I don't know. I haven't made any changes. So it's whatever Chris did in his version three, his last one. So I don't know if he changed anything yeah, from after version one. The first yeah. One version one. Yeah. Yeah, I've got version one here. This is the the PCB. The same patch route worked exactly. The only way to know is to get a new one too. <laughs> I can I can reflash one too for you. He's on forty one. Yeah. So so there is one. There is he's doing a 41 development too. I don't know if you've seen any of the stuff. We're running some uh, <coughs> discussions on the on the bulletin board right now or on the HHC block. So is the one talking with the the, the Chinese person yeah. that, yes. for the special display that he made. Yes. Yeah. Well, he's got right now. Yeah, he's making a custom melody, but he's got you no. Know, he's put two um, two boards together, two development boards, and he's actually got it scrolling across two separate LCDs. But he's got it executing 41 code. 
and uh, so he's going to make well, another. I, did they, did they found some manufacturer in China that's going to make yes. the same LCD 14 segment blah right. blah blah right. for like three bucks each, if I if I remember it's something. Yeah, it's no something some, some outrageous number like that. Maybe why so expensive? It can't be thirty. <laughs> that's the number that I remember. I think it's a little more than that, but yeah, it's yeah. it's in the if three, you read the uh, going to the uh, ABC was, blog, it was less than ten bucks. Right. right. It was an astounding yeah. number. Yeah, but what, what's surprising is the speed that they go. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah that what from the start right. of the project to where they are right tomorrow? now. Uh, we'll do it tonight. Yeah, yeah, it's fast. It started two months ago or yeah. something like that. Very rapid. We'll take a walk. Very rapid. I agree. Yeah. Yes. So that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Now, do you have assembled ones to? I'll take an assembled I, one. I don't.